First of all, good morning. Good morning. And today we're going to Greece. To Greece? Yeah, and one of the staples of the Greek food is they cook a lot of lamb. Right. So I'm going to do a roasted leg of lamb with a lot of great spices. Oh. I'm going to start punching holes in it. Why do you do that? Because in every hole, oh. I put a finger and I'm putting a, a clove of garlic. It's fresh rosemary. Uh -huh. I take it from the top down. I have a, a mini food chopper. Okay. And I put a lot of garlic. Uh -huh. like I'm going to put a little bit of salt okay. in it. And pepper. Pepper. And of course, one of the main staples of Greek food. Olive oil and olive Israeli. Olive oil. So I'm going to put about half a cup. Now smell. Uh, what do you smell? The olive oil and the rosemary oil and the garlic. Ah, okay. I'm going to put this in the, in, pan. In the pan. Okay. And and? Excuse my hands. Oh, you rub it. I rub it all the way in. For a little bit of color, I put a little bit of paprika oh, on top. Oh, that's the trick? Just a trick, just for the color. I'm going to close this. And I have a 200 degree preheated oven. I put the timer. The second dish I'm going to do, uh, fish baked in salt. <gasps> now people think that fish baked in salt is going to be extremely salty. Absolutely no. not whatsoever. It just helps it cook? It just helps it cook. Salt. Then, co uh, coarse uh, kosher salt. Yeah. And what Stuffing. do I stuff it with? Yeah. Black olives, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes that I already chopped myself. I cracked two eggs. Okay. And I'm going to make the salt with two egg whites. Wow, it's like dough, just some salt. It's already wet. Right. And with this, what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to start covering the fish. Oh my God. And this eventually will become the crust. And then we'll put it in a 200 degree oven for 35 minutes to 40 minutes. So now? Now we're going to do a Greek salad. Greek salad. You gonna cut it in cubes. I do recommend to everyone yeah. is use an amazing knife. Right. The cheese, I'm going to cut it in cubes. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of salt, pepper, now comes the zaftar. Zaftar. And now I'm going to put like half a cup of olive oil. This is an Israeli olive oil. Now, yeah. what is my twist? Your twist. I'm going to put this here. With the remainder of the cheese, I have a grater. Oh. And I just put it like this. Now, now dessert. dessert. Dessert, that's what you like the most. That's what you like the most also. I know, I love sweet. <laughs> Listen, I'm sweet, you're sweet. Okay, we're doing the main dessert from Greece. It's called baklava. Baklava. Yeah, just use walnuts that I already chopped myself. Okay. Orange blossom water. Cinnamon, uh -huh. lemon juice, butter, sugar. And phyllo dough. Okay. Okay. I open the phyllo, put it like this. Yeah. And with a very good knife, cut it. Ah. Ah. One thing we know we do with phyllo dough because it's so brittle, we have to work as fast as we can. I start layering things and you see it's already perfectly filled. Right. Now I'm going to start brushing each sheet uh -huh. with butter. With butter. Pure butter. Then I start adding another sheet. And I add here about six to eight sheets. And every sheet has butter. Has butter. I also put butter in it. Now I'm going to do the mixture of the nuts. About half a cup of sugar. Okay. And they use cinnamon. I put about a tablespoon or two tablespoons of orange blossom butter. Mm. We'll pour 
the nuts evenly. Now we're going to start layering again the filo on top and again butter. Have the package, we'll put it underneath and have, and have the top. package on top. I like to put the thing underneath here. Mm -hmm. And we start cutting. I'm going to put it in the oven, mm -hmm. also in uh, 350, which is 180 centigrade, for about 35 minutes. 35 minutes? Yeah. In a pot, I'm going to put one and a half cup of sugar, three quarter cup of water, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. And now at the end, right. just eat, drop the syrup, spoonful by spoonful. I'm going to cut a small piece. Oh, thank you. better than anything I've ever tasted. First of all, with a good ouzo, let's say lechaim. Lechaim. You saw it took me two minutes to make all, everything. All the ingredients are very basic, or not too many ingredients. Everything is natural. <gasps> oh my god. No, I want you to try this. Oh, thank you. When I was a little girl, my parents took me, and I remember the first time I saw Greece, I fell in love with it. We arrived oh. to Athens. The story that is here, all this history from Greece, right. because all the big philosophers, Aristotle, Socrates, and all of them came from there. They <laughs> gave us also so much history. I've always loved their food. I love their tastes. Mm -hmm. I love their music. Greece is unique. The food is amazing. The book is divided into half and half. Half is my story. It's actually a story of survival, and today I can say I'm the happiest woman alive. It's to anyone that watches this, to anyone that has had a bad future, it doesn't matter where you come from. You can come from a very poor family or from a very wealthy family. It's just how do you deal with it. Like I said, I was an abused child. Today I'm talking about it openly. I hope that uh, by talking about it, other people can learn that it's never too late to take all that heaviness that sat within you. Once you really know how to take it out of your system, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Food is the one thing we all people in the world have in common. Food brings us together. 